What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dwayne and this is The 411. Thank you to my returning viewers and subscribers. If it's your first time here as well, thank you for watching the video. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you do subscribe and join The 411 family, all right? So guys, in today's video, I have eight great spring fragrances. When we talk about spring fragrances, you're gonna realize that there is a bit of a similarity. They're gonna be fresh and sweet fragrances for the most part. When we talk about spring fragrances, they're gonna be pretty versatile and they're going to have mainly fresh and sweet slightly spicy aspects to them all right so that is it let's get into the fragrances right now so this list is in no particular order and we're going to start the list off with, with Versace Dylan blue all right you got that blue bottle you got that Medusa head the gold on there very gaudy very elegant style of bottle I really love it it is see-through with that blue as well. Uh, this captured my interest uh, a while ago. I would go to Sephora and spray this on on a regular basis because this one stood out as far as the blue fragrance goes, okay? It's not your typical generic fresh soapy fragrance. There's a bit of character to this one. So on the top of this one, you do get lemon, you get bergamot, you do get black pepper in the mid. I believe you also have incense and broxen. The incense really stands out and the incense to me is what makes this fragrance shine, all right? Gives it depth and makes it great for the springtime. Uh, we do have patchouli in the base and I believe there is tonka bean. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's tonka bean. I wouldn't be the tonka bean fiend if tonka bean wasn't on this list, all right? Uh, so Versace Dillon Blue, number one on the list, a great spring fragrance. You do get some freshness, it's semi-sweet, semi-spicy, and that incense does add a bit of mysteriousness. It's perfect for spring. Uh, as far as performance, you get really good performance with this one. The sillage on this is really good. This one is my most complimented blue fragrance, so that's why I had to put it on the list for you guys. Again, number one on the list is Versace Dylan Blue. Number two on the list of eight great spring fragrances is gonna be YSLY EDP. I have the travel size in this one, uh, which does me great because projection and performance on this one is great. You don't need too many sprays. It is very heavy. Uh, one story I could tell you is that I wore this to my brother's birthday party and my sister told me that it smelled good, but it smelled old. So that goes to say that this fragrance isn't for the young. It's more mature. I'm going to say 30 plus. This will be right up your ballpark. Very easy to wear, as I mentioned, very versatile. You can wear it to work. Um, you can wear it on a date, wear it out with friends. Now on the top, you're gonna get ginger, apple, and bergamot, which adds that aromatic facet to it. Very addicting, again, not overly sweet. In the mid, we have sage, juniper, and geranium. And in the base, I believe there's woodsy note. You do get tonka bean as well. Again, tonka bean and vanilla is gonna be in a lot of these fragrances. I am the tonka bean fiend, so you will be seeing a lot of tonka bean on this list, all right? This one smells amazing. This one has a bit of sweetness, a bit of freshness, and a bit of spiciness. To me, it's sexy and masculine at the same time. Very aromatic as well. It is the perfect combination for somebody that's dressed up or dressed down. Versatility on this one is very high, guys. Great, great fragrance. I'm surprised I don't get many compliments on this one, but I'm gonna work some more and see if the compliments do roll in because they should. Number two on my list is YSLY EDP. Number three on my list of eight great spring fragrance is gonna be Polo Red. Now I've had this one in my collection for some time and I have to say my lady loves this one. I haven't worn this one in a while but I'm looking forward to wearing it because it smells so good. My collection has grown slightly so I'm finding it hard to rotate fragrances. But again, with spring here, I'm gonna get more wears of this one for sure. It smells great, it smells great. So on the top, I believe we have cranberry, we have some Italian leather, and of course, bergamot. In the mid, we get spiciness from the sage and saffron. And in the base, we have woodsy notes and coffee. Now you don't get much coffee from this fragrance. Uh, it's more of the fresh, sweet type of thing with a bit of spiciness in there. Again, not your typical black pepper spicy, but your sage and saffron, if you ever smelled those before, it's a good combination of that. So sweet, spicy, like I mentioned, it does equal sexy. And this one's great for going on dates or just great for going out overall. Something you can pull off to the office, but the sweetness may not be office appropriate. But again, still a very easy to wear fragrance. Great for the spring and summertime. Uh, with the longevity, it's not that great. That's why I say the summertime. But if you get enough sprays on this, it'll get you through the spring for sure. Number three in my list is Polo Red, the EDT. Now, number four on my list is a fragrance that was very hyped at one point. At one point. It's going to be Mont Blanc Individuel. 
All right, guys, so as you know, Jeremy Fragrance did hype this to the moon and back. He described it as a fresh laundry detergent sheet type of fragrance, but it is much more than that. The fragrance is kind of complicated. It's not the easiest to pull off because there is a ton of notes in this fragrance. I want to say about 20 different notes, but primarily what you do get is the raspberry. It is pretty prominent in the fragrance. You do get a slight bit of uh, cacao chocolatiness as well. And of course you get a bit of lavender that adds that freshness and there's some citrus up top as well. That's primarily what you get. You get the bergamot, lavender, you do get the raspberry for sure. It adds a fruity facet to it, kind of jammy in a sense. And of course you get that chocolatey cacao feel. Again, it's not prominent, but it is there mixing with all the other notes in this fragrance. Now, as far as this fragrance itself, it is kind of linear, even though you have a ton of notes in here. It does feel kind of linear. You're gonna be fresh, slightly sweet, slightly fruity sweet from opening until end. I love the opening, but from what I read and from what I saw, the opening is the most divisive part of this fragrance. As you can see, I did take a good dent out of there, but again, look forward to wearing it a lot more as uh, spring continues on. Fresh, clean, kind of soapy clean, jammy. If the price is right, definitely pick up a bottle. Number four on my list is Mont Blanc Individuel. Number five on my list is a very easy to wear, very versatile spring fragrance. Could work in the summertime as well, and it's going to be a clone of Versace Eros. It's going to be Guess 1981, Los Angeles. By the way, guys, that juice color is that ambery brown that you're seeing there. It's not the bottle, even though the bottle does have a gradient as well. Now I'm going to show you something that you won't be able to see. All right, so there's the bottle. Now when you add the YSL cap, it looks like a YSL bottle, right? Yeah, I thought the same thing too. Looks like a YSL bottle, but uh, we do have the wood cap on there. Um, kind of reminds me of the Nasamato fragrances, but again, great presentation as far as the bottle and the cap. Now this thing opens up bright, uh, slightly fruity, slightly fresh with a bit of spice in there as well. Great versatile spring fragrances I mentioned. Uh, this will get you compliments. In the top list, you do get plum, black pepper, and bergamot. The plum does add that opening where it's kind of fruity fresh. In the mid, you do get some mint, ginger, and I believe geranium. In the base, we're looking at amber, tobacco, sandalwood, and I believe vetiver. So again, a well-rounded fragrance, uh, one that is easy to wear. This one's gonna be a grab-and-go fragrance, whether it be the gym, whether it be date, whether it be work, going out with friends. This one could do it all, and it is the cheapest fragrance on the list, so it is a very good cheapie to have in your collection. Here in Canada, this retails for about $25 to $30. So if you can't get your hands on it, get your hands on it. Again, I've left a slight dent in that one. I'm gonna leave a bigger dent as the spring months roll around. So number five on my list is Guess 1981, Los Angeles. Now number six on the list is Moschino Toy Boy, all right? So I have a little travel bottle here, okay? Now the bottle, whether it be the original or the small, they look quite the same. So it's a very interesting looking bottle, but the fragrance itself is very interesting as well. This one is not for everybody, okay? When I say everybody, I'm talking about myself. This one wasn't for me at first, but I've gotten very in love with the fragrance itself. It is kind of unique and it takes a bit of um, effort to pull this one off. Now the opening for this one is very sophisticated. You get uh, pink berries, I believe you have some LME, you do have some pear, you have some nutmeg. Now in the mid we have rose, magnolia and cashmere. And I believe it's the rose that stands out the most in this fragrance and that's what kind of makes it a bit more harder to wear. A more refined nose, a more experienced nose will appreciate this more. So if you're new into the fragrance game, you, you may not be ready for this one as of yet. The rose fruity aspect of this fragrance, mixing with the other notes, um, even the opening, it's very uh, tart, uh, fresh, fruity, floral as well. There's a bit of spice in there as well. Not your sweet, typical gourmand fragrance, not your typical fresh, sweet fragrance at all. For the base of this one, we have vetiver and a plethora of other fragrance, but the vetiver does stand out and I believe that's what adds a bit of complexity and a bit of masculinity to this fragrance. So number six on the list is Moschino Toy Boy. Now guys, we're almost at number eight, so hang in there with me. Number seven on the list is going to be Kenzo Aqua. 
Now, don't let the name Aqua fool you. This is not really an aquatic fragrance, all right? This is more in the realm of One Million Lucky, which is more of a fresh, sweet gourmand fragrance. Jeez, okay. I'm wearing this one tomorrow for sure, all right? So on the top, I believe we have apple, uh, pink pepper, and bergamot. Now in the mid for this, we have hazelnut and woodsy notes with a few other notes, but the hazelnut does stand out here. Again, you do get that sweet gourmand touch even in the opening of this fragrance. So it does open up fresh and sweet, which is really good for me, which is really good for the spring. You're gonna need something that is kind of on the sweet, sexy side for the springtime. And this gourmand leaning fragrance would be great. If you can afford one million lucky, which is discontinued, so the price is kind of high, this would be a great substitute for that one. Now the base is where it gets really good, okay? This is where the tonka bean comes in. Again, I am the tonka bean fiend, so tonka bean has been prominent on this list. But you do get amber and some musk. You also get some vanillas in this one as well. I believe there's some cedar to add the woodsy facet to it. An amazing smelling fragrance. I'm actually gonna get this on skin now. That's kind of how much I'm liking this one. So it does open up kind of sharp, so you don't want to put your nose directly to it. In the air though, it smells amazing. Slightly metallic opening. I wouldn't call it synthetic, but it is sharp and slightly metallic. But the gourmand factor, the fresh factor, that all comes in. A slept on fragrance, one that people don't talk about enough. A great spring gourmand, sexy, sweet fragrance, all right? Number seven on the list is Kenzo Aqua. Now, if you made it this far in the video, I do want to say thank you for watching the video. Thank you for hanging out with me for this long. If you took anything away or if you're enjoying the video, definitely hit that subscribe button and of course hit that like button as well. Number eight on my list of eight great spring fragrances is Dior Ohm Sport. Now guys, don't let the sport name fool you. This is a very classy, elegant, masculine fragrance in my opinion. Now, I do want to say this is one of my most complimented fragrances. Majority of times that I do wear this, I do get a compliment. This thing does open loud. There's a bergamot lemon mix that just jumps off of your skin. This one's going to have some aldehyde, some pink pepper, some LME resin. There is frankincense, woodsy notes, and amber in this one as well. Now, the frankincense, I don't get that much. I don't really get a... Um, incense type of vibe with this one. LME resin, uh, I don't really get much resin. What I do get, like I mentioned, is that fresh, sharp start with the fragrance. And I'm gonna assume it's the aldehydes that come into play. Also the pink pepper, because it is spicy at the same time. Not overly spicy, but a good mix. Man, can you say sophisticated? Again, I don't know why they put the sport tag on this one, but this is a very sophisticated fragrance. I'm gonna say easy to wear, uh, crowd pleasing for sure. Not your typical sweet or fresh fragrance. This one is kind of, does its own thing, but again, you will stand out wearing this one. A compliment gem, in my opinion. If you haven't smelled this yet, definitely get your hands on it. It is kind of pricey. I believe it's 130 to 170 for a full size bottle. Let's sample, see if you like it and make the investment. Again, classy, elegant, sophisticated is Do Your Own Sport, which is number eight on my list. So I hope you guys like that list of eight great spring fragrances. If you did, like I mentioned, drop me a like. Make sure you subscribe if you're not yet. Join our 411 family. We are very close to the 1,000 subscriber mark. In the meantime, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed, and of course, smelling good. See you guys in the next one. Peace.